Joining us right here in the studio, Dr. Hai Eitan Koenyan Orojak, a Turkey analyst at the Moshe Dayan Center for Middle East Studies, and Daniel Pomerantz, an attorney and senior editor at the NGO Honest Reporting. Gentlemen, thanks very much for being here. Uh, Hai, let me start with you. We are often talking about Turkish sure. politics when you're here. In this case, Turkey is obviously a big mm -hmm. player. What do you think the implications of a decision like this could be if Israel does go ahead and say, okay, we're going to recognize First the Armenian all, genocide? we should understand that this is an unprecedented move uh, that the Knesset is taking. And uh, besides that, the Turkish uh, administration nowadays is approaching to a new milestone, which is the Turkish elections on the 24th of June. So in case that the Knesset will vote for it, uh, we're going to, first of all, uh, strengthen Mr. Erdogan. Uh, Mr. Erdogan will easily use this as a leverage for his political purposes. And even if now, nowadays he is struggling uh, in order to increase his vote uh, above uh, 50%, because every sort of percentage that it is below 50%, meaning that we're going to have another elections in the, uh, for the second round, right? So for him, this is a failure. But if we're going to basically bring this uh, bill uh, from the Knesset, so we are are going to turn also the Turks who are not enemies of Israel as enemies of Israel. Bottom line, it will backfire. You it say. will for us. It will backfire, and even uh, it will unfortunately may deteriorate the relations even more. It will even pave the way for the uh, shutting down of the consulate in Istanbul and shutting down of the Israeli embassy in Ankara. And I really, I'm very, I mean, concerned. concerned. Right. Uh, Daniel, that's a pretty persuasive rail politic argument not to go ahead. Uh, advocates of this bill, Armenians and otherwise, say there is also a moral argument to be made. There is a moral argument. You know, in, uh, when Hitler's generals were preparing the final solution, the blueprint for the Holocaust, one of the things that they said, they went to Hitler and said, well, aren't we concerned that there will be an international reaction? And Hitler's words to them were, no, because who now speaks for the Armenians today in the world? And that was his response. And it's very possible that had more countries recognized the Armenian genocide sooner, there there may not have been a Holocaust or it may have been much more difficult for Hitler to move in that direction. And so now here we are in this Jewish country that was formed in the shadow of the Holocaust and we're doing that very same thing, failing to recognize an event, a recognition that could have made a difference in that way. So we uh, ask ourselves, is that the right reason to do it? If we do it, if Israel moves ahead with this, it probably won't be for that reason. It should be for that reason, but it won't be. It'll be for political maneuvering reasons. What's not clear from C.P. Hotevelli's statement is whether this is just political posturing to make a point uh, in, in light of recent events or whether uh, this is a serious uh, agenda item. I think that it might be serious. And I think that, Hi. yeah. Well, do you think that the moral argument should, in this case, supersede those political goals? Uh, well, uh, look, I'm, uh, I'm not against this moral issues, okay? I'm not um, a whole, uh, Armenian genocide denier. I'm, full, I, I'm solely uh, concentrating on the interests of the, of the state of Israel. And uh, in my opinion, even if we are going to accept this Armenian genocide bill, uh, it's obvious that we did not came to this point just in order to uh, accept this bill, I mean, uh, accept the Armenian genocide because of the genocide itself, but it is a sort of a revenge against Turkey, and I think this is not moral, first of all. Uh, if we're going to do it, so let's do it in style, and let's do it properly, let's do it kosher, okay? Well, certainly we're not doing it. If we do it, it's not for the right reasons, but it still leaves the question of, is it still the right thing to do? So. Then let me ask you another question. Yeah. Uh, we have very good relations with Azerbaijan, and since 1994, uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia is in a conflict called Nagorno-Karabakh, and we are providing arms to the Azerbaijani army. And since the Azeris and Turks do see each other as brothers and as an inseparable part of a Turkic nation, so don't you think that this uh, this step will also uh, damage our relationship with uh, with Azerbaijan because at the end of the day, when I'm looking at the map, I do not see Armenia as a potential ally of Israel since it is very much uh, dependent to Iran and it is very much dependent to Russia. So please 
persuade oh, yeah. me. Why, sh if I was a, what, if I was, if I was a member of Knesset, if you why should I raise my hand? Well, I, I, I probably only have 20 seconds now, but I would point out this: France uh, and Germany and about 30 other countries in the world, many of whom do have close working relationships with Turkey, have recognized the Armenian genocide and have maintained those relationships anyway. History shows us it's possible. Bring back a point that Daniel made, which is that several countries, yes, yeah, something like yeah. 20 or more, 30 have, yeah. 30 have already recognized the Armenian mm -hmm. genocide and they have relations with Turkey. Okay, so, so why should, shouldn't Israel be one of those? Okay. So first of all, I would also like to remind you something. In 1949, even if we did not, um, in order to form uh, proper relations with Turkey, we did not sign a peace treaty. Okay, this is the uniqueness of this uh, of this relationship. And since Turkey is the first Muslim country that recognizes the state of Israel, I think we should attribute a very. Uh, I think importance for us it's a it is significant we are living in a neighborhood called the Middle East and this country is located in the Middle East and since we are having some legitimacy problem since our legitimacy is under constant bombardment by the uh, by our neighbors by the Muslim world so if a country if a Muslim populated country which did not fight with us never and did not, uh, did not uh, sign a peace treaty with us, if they are recognizing us, and if they are trying to have a proper relationship with us, I think uh, we should not damage this. Yeah, Unfortunately, we are not France, we are we not Germany, we, well, we, we are not Spain. Of course we shouldn't damage it, but you know, Germany uh, has a new government um, since the Nazis and recognized the Holocaust, and the Ottomans aren't in power in Turkey anymore either, and it's Turkey's position that makes this damaging. But let me throw an idea at you. Sure. Since uh, the beginning of the year, Turkey's currency has dropped by 17%, which is enormous. Mm -hmm. They're overloaded with corporate debt and bank debt. They're on the wrong side of the issue of uh, Iran vis-a-vis -vis the United States. And their performance in Syria has been less uh, impressive than in a lot of the other players. Mm -hmm. If there's ever a time to recognize the Armenian genocide, now might be it. Turkey is looking weak, and that might actually be part of the I reason. I want to pause here, high on present day and a little bit of the political side, because that is, as you both acknowledge, what is driving the decision to mm -hmm. recognize yeah. the genocide sure. or not. A lot of people might say, well, Turkey has no real strong relationship uh, with Israel diplomatically right now. That's it's on thin ice. Certainly, they have economic cooperation. That Erdogan comes out uh, a couple times a week sure. condemning Israel, threatening Israel. Yeah. What do you say to that? Well, um, we, should, uh, we should ask ourselves a question. Uh, do we want to uh, extend our uh, hand to the Turkey's Jewish community? Do we want a, a representative, uh, a consulate, an embassy in Istanbul in, and in Ankara? Because in this case, if we're going to accept this bill, uh, Unfortunately, I'm really uh, curious, but I'm very, I mean, anxious about that. But uh, I guess that we are going to an Armenia-Turkey model. What do we have the Armenia-Turkey model? Uh, Armenia doesn't have any embassy in Ankara or in Istanbul, but there are direct flights. Do we want to have this uh, this Armenia model for ourselves? But we are not we are not getting anything from Armenia, so. Uh, for God's sake, what are, we, what are we doing this? Well, that's the reason why so many countries took so long to recognize Armenia, because they're not a major player. They don't have something powerful to contribute that countries need. It's entirely possible that Turkey may be going that direction right now, and we may be seeing a changing of the tide, and I wouldn't be surprised if the United States over the Iran deal starts thinking in the same direction. The, the Turkish administration, uh, last Friday, uh, they threatened Israel for the economic sanctions. You know, there is the, an organization right. called Organization of Islamic Cooperation. So let's take this Armenian Genocide Bill as a preemptive, I mean, not as a preemptive, but as a as leverage. Uh, as a, as a leverage. Yeah. Let's put it here. And that may and very well be what yeah, it is. I mean, right. I'm not. I'm not telling that. A negotiation uh, my, tactic. For yeah, yeah, yeah. A negotiation tactic. tactic. Yeah, All right, Doctor Hai Cohen. Cohen, right? Yeah, no, Rojak. It's a complicated name. Yeah, yeah, Daniel yeah, yeah. Pomerantz.